is Rishi, and today I'll be discussing the forward and backward program in the new EV3 software. So this is the new EV3 software. It's exactly like the old software, except it has different blocks. It's essentially the same thing, but this program looks a lot like Scratch. So we'll use these blocks over to the right later, but this is the program. So the first thing you need is set motors two, which will assign which ports the motors are, minor and B and C, yours can be in anything. You also need a move forward for three and a half seconds. And I have a move backwards for three and a half rotations and a weight block in the middle. So you can change this from forwards to backwards, whichever you choose. And three and a half is also a value you can change, of course. And here you can choose rotations, degrees, or seconds. Three and a half rotations means the wheel will turn three and a half times. Three and a half degrees means it'll move for only three and a half degrees. The wheel will turn for three and a half degrees. Three and a half seconds means the wheel will continuously move for three and a half seconds. So this is one way to do it. Another way is to have this block which you can put an angle on and straight is just zero and also for the three. Another is a start moving, which is like move at a certain angle at a certain speed. And in my opinion, the best block is this, this block, which can let you move at a certain angle for the number of those three and at a certain speed. And in my program, there wasn't any speed but now if I put it here, everything is set at 50% speed. But I don't want that, so I'm just gonna take it out. And there's also a start moving block and you can change that to whatever degree. So now we're gonna connect my brick. So turn on my brick. Enable Bluetooth. and connect. So this is my robot's name, I'm selecting it. And my brick is success successfully connected. It shows the green light here. And so now you can do two things. You can download, which downloads it onto the brick, or you can download and run, which automatically downloads it and runs it at the same time. So I'm gonna hit download and run. And 